Alrighty, everybody. So we got our first Benchy with all the stock hardware. Uh, not a bad print, really, off the bat. So we have a little bit of issue. You can kind of see some of the infill through this side. Uh, a little bit of a cooling issue there in the front of the boat. Uh, we look at the bottom, the lettering. Lettering actually came out pretty decent. A little hole in the back. Not too shabby. Uh, very little stringing, just the real, real fine stringing on there. Uh, we do have a little bit of a bridging issue with the front window. And the top kind of got like this weird little flop there. And on this side here, you have some of these weird like little specks popping out from the side of the print. But all in all, man, stock the way it is, that's a pretty solid Benchy. Um, it's pretty good. That's some cooling, I believe. Might have a slight bit of under extrusion. This is two walls thick. And you can still see that infill on this side. But, uh, not as much on that side for sure. Okay, so we have our stock cover here. We did print out a new shroud on the Troxy. This is uh, by Red Squirrel. So, came out pretty good. This is made out of ABS. With the shroud, we got our little clip. And went over to Ace, picked up a couple of these uh, small, I believe these are M3 screws. And I dropped one in the extrude metal and can't get it out. All right. So the first thing we'll do, uh, not so necessary, but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to unplug this um, so we don't die to any electricity. If we do become unfortunate, maybe from this, I don't know. So I stopped over at Wally World. Uh, I already kind of have one of these screwdrivers, but this came with a lot more crap and an extension. Let's see if we have the right tool for the job. If it would let go. Oh, man. Ugh. There we are. It was a uh, number two. So let's start by taking off the shroud. That's one there. And it should slide right off the side. Just a small clip. Yeah. If it would let go. There we go. All right. Okay, so we got our shroud off. Uh, let's cut this zip tie here so we can sell some more room to work with. And so down in here, see your LED light. 
the two fans. Uh, we'll take the four screws out of the fan. This LED light pops out. And of course these are different. So I'll take this fan out as well. And we'll be able to install everything into the new one. All right? Something like that. Okay, I just got this off. Now when you're taking the focus, when you're taking the uh, the light out, just this little clip here. Just pull all these little pegs apart and then you can push the light right out through the back. This was in the fan. This side's out. We gotta get that one out next. Okay, that is the old one removed. And we have our fan, the little shield, this will come off. Got the one screw there. Our other fan and our LED light. Okay, so let's see how all this is gonna line up. We have our fan, which will sit in like so. And Okay, she's got to slide, slide down there pretty good. Don't want to stress these wires. Wow, that is a super tight fit. I try to get it in there without the wires in the way here. Wow, very snug. Very snug. Don't want to crack the plastic. Eh. Let me uh, let me uh, clean this up real quick. Well, we got it in, but not without some minor cracking there on this little corner. So, uh, very very snug fit. Probably should have whittled this out a little bit more. But, uh, well, I gotta take it back out again. See the path for the wires. Probably run it right through there. And come out right in the back here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're back. Um, the wires are gonna end up staying out. We got the light in there. You can see the little bulb down there. I had to use a really skinny flathead to kind of weave it down the hole back here behind the fan. And now, the uh, nice thing about this fan, it does tell you the direction. So if you forget which way you took it off, no big deal. And this will line up like, oh, if these would go back in. These should pop back into place down here. And once we get them popped in, oh, you come on, you bastards, get in there. Okay. Well, anyway, you kind of get the idea. We'll kind of make this look a little prettier once we get it all together. Okay. So, they just uh, kind of self-thread themselves into the plastic. Just want to be mindful that uh, you don't want to crank down on this because you're just going to crack or strip out those holes very easily. So just, just snug. Just snug. And there you go. Alright, we got it up into position. So now we're just lining up mounting holes. Now, where'd it go?
Well, I had it for a second. Oh, there we are. And now the top, it's behind all these wires. Thread the needle. Let go. There we are. Okay. And there she is. We'll uh, still gotta clean this up. Okay. Kind of buttoned it up a little bit. Got it zip tied back down. And that's what she's going to look like. So, went from, uh, well, this way. That to this. And instead of, uh, this little shield to deflect some air down under there. Now we got two nozzles under there. So hopefully we get air coming in from both sides. Okay, she's all buttoned up. Put the clip on. Here we just got a couple of little screws from Ace. There's our nozzle with the sock. Still fits in there. There's the top. So, that's what, focus, that's what it looks like now. Let's see if uh, we get a better benchy out of that. Okay, so our benchy's finally complete. So I did label these one and two. And if we look right here on the front of the boat, this was our first one, this is our second one. So we are looking a little better in that area there. Other than that, it's uh, very similar. They did a little bit better in the doorways. But the biggest improvement we've seen was down here. Alright, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.